from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Thank you all for coming today. We have a wonderful group in store. Some of you may know these folks, but um, you're done. Um, you're in for a real treat. I'm Theodosia Austin, the Public Events Coordinator for the American Folklife Center. And on the behalf of uh, our entire staff, I'd like to welcome you to this sixth concert in the 2014 Homegrown Concert Series. We have seven more concerts coming up later in the summer, and those will go up online pretty soon. You'll see more information about that. Um, Homegrown was designed to feature the very best of traditional music and dance from around the country. And um, these folks are a great example of traditional music. Um, we work with a lot of different institutions. We work with state folklorists in different states, the Smithsonian Institution, the Kennedy Center's Millennium Stage, in order to bring you these, these wonderful musicians. Um, today's performance is going to be taped for the, the AFC collections and also for webcasting. So um, please take this opportunity to turn off your cell phones or pagers um, because we don't want to get that recorded for eternity on these <laughs> in the collections. Um, the, um, so Gerdan, let me tell you a tiny bit. They'll tell you more about themselves. Gerdan, Kaleidoscope of World Music, um, is made up of Andre Pitkivka, who is a master of all things you blow into, including his crutches. He was playing his crutches in the back. I knew it's going to come at some point. <laughs> it was amazing. And his walking stick is actually also playable. Um, right. Salomia um, Khorohivska is a master violinist and beautiful singer. And we have Kalin Kirillov, who is an amazing, not just a, an accordionist, but plays so many instruments. How many? Many, many, many. Some, a few. <laughs> He's very modest, too. He has many buttons. And he has many, many <laughs> buttons. So anyway, I'm going to now hand uh, the um, microphone over to a representative from the Ukrainian embassy. We have um, Stanislav Yezhov, a uh, counselor today. He's, he's accompanied by Aresta um, Starych, although I don't see her. Oh, oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. So please um, give a welcome to Mr. Stanislav Yezhov from the Ukrainian Embassy. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We are very pleased that yet another Ukrainian-related event is taking place at the Library of Congress and uh, Ukrainian Embassy has an excellent history of cooperation with this respected institution. Our 20th anniversary of Ukrainian independence was celebrated in these very walls at a grand reception. And just several months ago, we had a screening of a movie about the artificial famine, the Galodomor, shown at the Library of Congress. So I'm certain that this concert is not the last in that list and that we will see many more Ukrainian events at the Library of Congress. And I'm very glad to see so many friends of Ukraine who came here today. You know that. Our country now is in an extremely difficult situation. We face the Russian aggression, and we face economic troubles, and uh, presidential elections will take place very soon. And against this background, it is of crucial importance for us to receive support from the friends of our country. And we know that the United States of America these days is probably the greatest friend of Ukraine in the whole world. So we really appreciate your support, the support of citizens of America, of the Ukrainian Americans and just friends of our country who came here today and who continue to support us for many years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. And finally, I would not like to end uh, with this sour note. Instead, I would want to say that Gerdan, Andri, and Salomia, and Kirill, they are very good friends of our embassy. They are regular performing in our uh, chancery and in other venues uh, in the United States. We know them as an 
excellent representatives of our Ukrainian culture and probably they are the best ambassadors of Ukrainian culture in America. And before uh, I give the floor to their performance, I would like to present them with the special certificates of recognition from the Ministry of Culture of Ukraine. Uh, a decree by the Minister of Culture of Ukraine for their weighty personal contribution to the development and popularization of Ukrainian culture uh, outside Ukraine, for their fruitful labor and high professional skills, I order to uh, award the certificates of recognition of the Ministry of Culture of Ukraine to the artists of Gerdan Ensemble from the United States of America, Andriy Pitkivka and Salomia Gorohivska. Minister Novohatkov. Let's make a picture. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. much. And please enjoy the concert. Let's the music begin. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. That was improvisation on Telinka. This is uh, this beautiful walking stick that Andre used for. That's what so I need to use for now. <laughs> <laughs> this and is a traditional Ukrainian instrument from Carpathian Mountains uh, region, which called Telinka. And uh, um, this instrument doesn't have any hole. Fascinating instrument. Very simple, but in that simplicity, hidden so many different beautiful notes that you can play with just the speed of air. And just imagination of different different Carpathian melodies that are flying around the Carpathian mountains in Ukraine. So we have lots of fun there. So we are Trio Gerdan, and Gerdan is a beautiful necklace that you uh, see on my uh, neck from actually Carpathian mountains region. And this is art crafted, and this is made from beads that usually are uh, women. They made it through the winter time, and uh, this is one of the biggest arts in Carpathian Mountains in Ukraine. And our music is basically, uh, during this program, we will play music from uh, Carpathian region, um, and uh, it's basically the border of Ukraine with Romania, Slovakia, Poland, um, and uh, Hungary. And music will have different influence. It will be influenced from Ukrainian side and from the side of the neighbors. And uh, we would like to start uh, the next piece, which called Kalushare, and we'll tell you about it after we play. Thank you. 
Kalushara is a traditional uh, music, traditional dance from the border between Ukraine and Romania uh, in the region of Bukovina. And this is that ritual man dance. So that was their show. <laughs> oh, yeah. And continuing the, sa the music from the same region, we want to play for you Hora de Kaval, or the dance of Kaval. Uh, Andre, tell about this very interesting instrument that you have. Well, it looks like a saxophone. It seems like Ukrainians came up with a saxophone uh, before. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, truly, it is a flute. Uh, it's a kaval. Uh, so um, yeah, nicely decorated, beautifully, beautifully done, uh, and, and has some nice colorful notes. So let's, let's listen. <laughs> Ukrainian saxophone. Kalin Kirillov, Andrei Petkivka. Solomia Horohivska. And uh, to distract you a, bit, a little bit of these fast melodies, 
we want to play for you our favorite piece on a beautiful instrument soloing uh, Nai, uh, actually from the same area, Ukraine and Romania, Bukovina. It's very, very beautiful region, very uh, beautiful landscapes, and uh, very talented people live there. And this piece is called Mother's Lament, and we want to dedicate this piece to all our mothers in this audience and to our motherlands as well. Thank you. 
Thank you. By the way, this instrument was made by Andrei Pietkivka, and he's a master not only in playing flutes, but in making flutes. Lots of bamboo here, so I have to make something out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're moving a little bit more south, but very little, uh, to basically the same region, but a uh, little bit southwest, uh, to the border Romania, Moldova, and Ukraine. And we have a very special piece called Vivcharek, or Little Shepherd. People are very, very creative, and our uh, our country is very famous by its songs because we have very, very, I don't know, thousand, even millions songs, <laughs> songs that people sing, and uh, every single party, every celebration, uh, people sing, and it's you will never guess that they just people from the street that never had any music education or never study this song but they just know these folk songs and um, they sing beautifully and we want to share with you um, very very special songs from different areas uh, in Ukraine and a particular one which is very old ancient song from uh, basically from all over the Ukraine because uh, because it has the real history behind that. It's an epic song. Uh, sometimes we call these uh, songs in Ukraine Dumy, or like epic, uh, epic stories. And it's called Roxolana. And um, that was the story of real woman, uh, Nastya Nisovska, that in 1520s um, was abducted. Uh, from her village in Rohatin, which is in Western Ukraine, by Turks. And um, she was the daughter of the priest. And um, after she was abducted and sent to uh, Sultan's harem, she became his favorite um, woman and wife, and she became his uh, first wife. And during this time, 
uh, Ukraine was not invaded by Turks. She protected her country. And we and the people, they created a big epic song about this story. And uh, before we I sing, I want to a uh, little bit give you the, the aura of the song, the translation of the song. At the first light of dawn in Rohatin, the Tatars abducted a young woman. They took Nastusinka, a fair, dark-haired young beauty. So they carried her to the Turkish land, to the Sultan Harem. There, Nastusa clasped her hands and begged the Sultan to kill her. O oh Sultan, great Sultan, be merciful to me in my youth. Don't cry, young girl. The Sultan will help you. The Sultan will have a wife, a Ukrainian from Rohatin.
Thank you very much. In this song, uh, there is two musical culture uh, collide together. The Middle Eastern, Andre played Turkish ney, and uh, Kalin played the Turkish, basically makams. <laughs> it's a, a traditional Turkish music scale and the Ukrainian song um, to make this uh, song very, very powerful. And now we're moving towards big Western Ukraine, and basically also all Ukraine, because all the people like to dance, right? And one of the most popular dances in Ukraine is pol uh, polka. <laughs> <It's> polka. <laughs> 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 and anywhere you go to, to the weddings, people dance polka very, very good. For hours. So you, yeah. you, you better go and, <laughs> and travel, and especially to the mountain area where people are crazy about music and dancing. and it might take even like two hours for doing one dance sometimes. <laughs> it also takes two flutes to, to polka. <laughs> so. Thank you. So imagine dancing for two hours like this. <laughs> 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 and uh, every culture has the influence from another culture. And you, we can see in, uh, uh, in the history of music, history of art, history of literature, when a certain stream um, that came coming from one country or, or one even region, uh, influence for different other regions. Uh, the same way in Ukraine, at the beginning of the 20th century, there was a big, big influence of tango. And uh, oh, we have a very popular song that every Ukrainian knows. knows. And uh, actually, it was, um, it was created by um, two beautiful others and the composer and the uh, um, and the poet, but be, uh, this uh, song became folk. 
because many people know this song. And uh, now, if, if you open the book uh, with the traditional song, you will see this song. So we thought it will be very uh, appropriate, and uh, um, it's a very, very beautiful song, uh, tango, Ukrainian tango. And this is, if you ask any person in Ukraine, can you, um, what Ukrainian tango song you know, they will definitely say Hutsul Kaksenia. This is the song, the girl from Hutsuli, like in Brazilian, the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> Um, and this is um, this is a very um, beautiful but slightly sad song about uh, two people, uh, the th the love song, and uh, Hutu people. This is the people from the mountain region. They are very uh, emotional, energetic, impulsive, and they are very um, also get in love very quickly. <laughs> too. Um, so this is the story about Hutsulka, a girl from Hutsuli. Um, um, I will tell you a plot uh, th with the song. In the darkness of that night that covered the hills and meadows, the Hutsul man saw the white silhouette of Ksenia standing bright against the dark. As he quietly leans on the pine tree, he gazes into her blue eyes. He speaks softly to her the gentle words of love. My darling Xenia, I will play the trombita for only you in the world, I will tell you of love. My soul is suffering, the sound of trombita is soaring, because my heart is in love, hot as a fire. Already the hot summer has gone. The Hutsul man secretly loved another. And then he visited the fair Hutsul Kaksenia at night for the last time. The waves of Cheremush River rippled, her blue eyes were sad. Only the wind blowing through the pines played the sorrowful song. My darling Xenia, I will play the trombita for only you in the world. I will tell you, I am sorry. Nichka ori v krila, polonino su zalila, a vni postat snižno bila, ucuk se nju lipi zna. Vinde vi sa voči sini, tiho sperši z nas osnini, i slova nižni ljubovni. Vindo ne ji promovlja Ocu kog senju I o tobi na trem biti Liš od njih ciljim sviti Rozkažu pro ljubov Duša straž daje Zvuk trem biti ludna je A što srce koha je Vorja čemu v žal Thank 
Чик и ветер нас осменил, Сыну песню выровнял, вот как сеню, И о тобе на трембите, Лишь одни целим свети, Расскажу про свежай душа страшна. Що серце кохає, Бараче, Боже. Мія Горохівська. Калін Кирилов, Андрій Підківка. And you see, we cannot move from this beautiful area of mountains. Actually, Ukrainian Carpathian Mountains is very little bit alike, uh, like Appalachian, right? And if you go a little bit West Virginia to Shenandoah, it's basically uh, how bef before the, like the big range of Carpathian Mountains is exactly the same, uh, the same landscape. And many of Ukrainians live also in Pennsylvania, which very much um, remind them their, um, uh, the landsca landscapes from their land uh, when the immigrations of Ukraine came um, in the end of 19th century, the beginning of 20th century, in the middle of 20th century. And another piece from Boykovshchina, or Boyko region, the spring fantasy on Ocarina. <laughs> Хлопці веселіше. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. The spring competition. <laughs> Since we're traveling, we have a music journey today to Ukraine. We have to, when you travel to some country, you have to learn some words, right? And uh, we, as you see, we have a lot of uh, different songs, but um, our people like the most the funny song, the joke songs. And it's, uh, we have uh, plenty of them. And we want to teach you today uh, a song. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is a joke song from... Uh, from the region, the same region of um, Boyko, Lemko. Uh, it's basically in the western part of Ukraine. It's a sub ethnicities. And uh, um, also, this, this song is present in Slovak culture and in Polish culture because they have the same song but with different, a little bit, words. But um, however, our languages are very similar. So you, when you go to Poland, you hear that song. In Polish, but you understand what's going on. And when you go to Slovakia, you understand that song. And when, of course, when you're in Ukraine, you understand because we are from Ukraine. And um, the song called Anichka, and there is a special word that um, many Ukrainians, uh, many Ukrainian and Slovak uh, song and Polish song has the word hey. And this is the this is like the, the symbol of enjoyment and people, hey, and they usually they start the song with hey or in the middle of the song, but this is the symbol of they enjoying themselves. There's some we songs with oi. <laughs> some oh of the songs, oi. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, since we hope you're enjoying it, we want to, uh, you to sing with us and we will make some kind of like a competition since we have two, uh, two parts of our room. And um, that will be choir number one and choir number two. And every time I point out on you, uh, you, you sing with us, hey, okay? Uh, this is the song about um, the lady. She, wants, she desperately wants her daughter to get married. And she said, um, I will give my blind horse and very old cow and everything I don't need in my house just to, to make my daughter to get married. And I have to find a, a man who wants to take her. So this is a very fun song. Um, so let's start and practice. So we'll do a uh, instrumental introduction. I will point out on the choir number one and choir number two. Oh, <laughs> 
Nošanička len zajanička bim se odavala. Rozmarija ja kleli, ona bila rozkvitala. Nošanička len zajanička bim se odavala. Rozmarija ja kleli, ona bila rozkvitala. Naša Anička len zajanička bim se odavala. Thank you. And the winner is Library of Congress. <laughs> so now you can travel to Ukraine. You know the first word. <laughs> uh, so you are a wonderful choir. We, can, we have to book you for our next concert. Well, I would love you all to play one more song, but I just wanted to thank the beautiful and amazing musicianship of Gerdan. So please, a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, I wanted to, um, they'll play one more song. I wanted to give, tell you a little secret. You may not know that uh, Kalin Kirillov is actually Bulgarian, but clearly a part of his heart is Ukrainian. <laughs> Um, you would never know he's not Ukrainian. So We paste many Ukrainian notes in his accordion. <laughs> <laughs> and we taught him in Ukrainian. He speaks Ukrainian. And he knows hey now. So. Yeah. Yes, he knows. So, Kalin Kirillov Salamia Khorachivska. I've been practicing my Ukrainian pronunciation. And Andrei Pitkivka, thank you. Play, please play one more. And piece. before we do our last uh, song, we want to thank you, Tia and uh, all the staff of Library of Congress, and you, our best friends, our audience, because without you, we won't be here. And uh, so we are grateful that we are here, and to Ukrainian Embassy, to Stanislav and Oresta, uh, and all our friends who we see in the, hall, in the room. Uh, we are so grateful that you came today during the noon. This is a very... <laughs> That's a beautiful lunch, very yes. tasteful. <laughs> Have a musical <laughs> lunch. Yeah. And um, we uh, are tri a Trio Gerdan. You can follow us on our website at www.gerdan.info where we play, where we perform, where we do workshops. And also we have CD for sale if you want That's to. That's a beautiful dessert. So yes. it goes, goes together with your lunch. If you want to lunch. continue with the concert program in your car or at your home. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we finish with a traditional Ukrainian song uh, instrumental, You uh, Have Kozak Zadunai, or the Kozak song, and this is actually the, the song from the central part of Ukraine, but it's very popular all over the cr Ukraine, and this is the song from 16th century.
Thank you. Thank you. Kalin Kirillov. Bulgaria. Solomia And Horokivska. Ukraine and Andrei Pitkivka, Ukraine. Thank you. We hope to see you back. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.